that's it, they get it all sorted. You know, the more times they do it. There, look at that, look. Look at that for a view. We are up. I'm right on the edge now, look. Hi there. I can't see who it is. Put that high. Tight squeeze, yeah. Now they lock the gates. It's open till uh, 8 in the morning. There's police stand there, look. On their motorbikes. But um, where I am now, look, this is the... Well, I'll, I'll go round. We can see. There's where we were just now, look, up there. They've got a board here, look. Got a smart board. A smart destinations board for tourists. Quality railings, yeah. And this is the, the little hermit. Ermita Virgin del Mar Virgin del Mar Got flowers there There's a statue of a, of a virgin I take it Do you know the history of the big mountain With the square card up Yeah I do actually It's right there look They say if you it, It's the exact size of Pika Island and when they used to have giants here, back in the olden days, you had a giant here and you had a giant in Africa and they were throwing stones at each other. And on one occasion, the giant here just ran out of stone. So he grabbed the top of the mountain there and a chunk came away and he threw it. And because it was so big, it landed out just outside there. And that's now Peacock Island. They say it's the same size, but it's one of those fables, you know. It could be true, it could not, but if you believe in giants, Simon, it is. And it and people don't see the trouble is with the UK, I don't know what happens. It gets vandalized in the UK. Things get vandalized when they put them up here. They don't seem to you know, it's a different world. It is really a different world. So yeah, that's the little Ermita. You know, there's there's people come here and clean it and everything and put the new flowers up and it's amazing. And there's where we've just come down through there, look. Can you do the boat trip? Yeah, of course you can. The boats are going out about every half hour at the moment, I think. Right, let's go on down. Not a lot to see except houses. Some lovely houses down here. This is Calle La Ermita. Street La Ermita. So. Oh, there we go. Look, I just said it. Calle La Ermita. Ermita, street of Ermita. So, uh, right. Oh, even Nigel Farage got vandalised. Yeah, spuggy charged. I hope so. Well, you can get. A, yeah, of course you can. You, but it's private residence, so you you might have to get a taxi. It says private, so you've got to live here to get up this far with a car. Hi there from Holland. Hi Holland. Okay, Subir C. See that it says residents only. Look. There's lots of signs here saying that. Hello from Hungary. Hi there. It was a beautiful day. Got me top off, I got me lens out. So, but yes, it's very, very warm. Nice to see the scooter. Well, yeah, I, I, I thought to myself, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have to use the scooter. I didn't really want to, but uh, I like walking. But the only way to do this in, in one evening after all is to get the scooter out. It's windy, don't you? What would you have to? That's weird. So there's the other one that Calvin went up to. You can go up to there as well. So, yeah, this is all um, residents only. So, get a taxi. Where is this? This is, this is Lakala. Here, Lakala. There's the sea coming in. There's another little beach here, and that's still classed as Benidorm. We are, this is still classed as Benidorm. 
at that sea glistening away down there. So although, you know, we're miles away from, um, you know, the strip and all the action, it's, this is a quite bit, there's a magic tropical splash here, look. What am I driving? I'm driving a little electric scooter, a double scooter. There is, uh, there's the tropical splash with the red roofs. That's tropical splash just there, so it is quite a way away as you can see, but I have got everything on here. And it, all is, it is massive, there's 80,000 people. The very end, Alicante end, as far as you can get, basically. But there's loads of houses and all just here on this hill. Look at it. Looks lovely. Got their uh, dish there for the Wi-Fi. Do you know if the rents are cheaper? Probably. How far is it from end to end? I'd say about 10 mile. I'd say probably 10 miles from one end to the other, if you're looking at the campsites to the this end. People don't realize, see, people get one thought about Benidorm, and they think it's the, the nightclub area. That is so, you know, it's, when you look at how big Benidorm is, it is just a tiny area and you don't have to go there. There's so much, things you know i show you so much that um you know it's so much different it's beautiful weather looking to buy a villa well some of these yeah oh you've got everything here you really have you know you're at like half an hour's drive from the from the motorway uh, from the airport you know you're not very far away at all but it's so beautiful. Look at this, you know, little road. Look, you know, you wouldn't think you were in, you know, when you s hear about the stories of Benidorm, look, trees are green. How, how are they staying green? You know, because we don't get any rain. You know, I hardly get any rain. Benidorm is something for all ages, that's right. You know, if you don't want all the all the nightclubs, you just come over this end where you can enjoy the fantastic beaches of Ponienti. I mean, look at some of these places there. They look amazing. You know, look at this house here. Look. That's what you call a house. That looks like... Oh no, there is several apartments in there. Food and drink is cheap, very cheap. Well, like I said, it is a good place for a holiday because there's so much you can do. There is so much. I mean, some of these apartments over here might be available for rent, so keep a look out. There's some brand new places going up here, look. Brand new here. Vista, Vista Vab, there you go, look. Constructions. I don't know what the name of it is, but... Oh, Mirador Lurka. It's called Mirador Lurka. Right, where are we going to go now? Um, shall we go along by the Grand Valley and then go down, I think? Let's take a little trip towards the Grand Valley, shall we? I think we can get to the Grand Valley here. I'm hoping so. item player. Well, we'll be going past it. Oh yeah, this is the way up anyway. Now we'll do the Grand, we'll do the Grand Valley another day on its own. We'll just do the Grand Valley. We'll go back down to the beach because I know the way down. I'm not sure exactly. I've done it before, but um, we'll go down by the beach today. La Cala, yes. I've got to get a bit of we want because there's a car behind me. We went we the way. I'll go back down the way I came up. Beautiful flowers, yeah. I know. There's so much water. I 
mean, there's where we were just now. Look, there's that Ermita. We've, we've come down very quickly, very fast. Very fast, that. Because there's the Ermita, where we were not long ago. Just up there. Go to the cove. I don't know if we'll get there tonight. You was in Grand Valley last week, you loved it. Yeah, see, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit out of the way, but it's... You know, it depends what you're after from a holiday. You can go down to the madness if you want to. You can get down to the madness. Look at this place here, look. Some beautiful places here. Some new ones going up as well. But yeah, we were up there not long ago. Quite a busy little road. We're nearly down to the beach already. Look, that was quick getting down. Week on Friday. Well, as you can see, it's absolutely amazing. It's it's warm at night now as well. I'd love to live here somewhere. Love to live just here. This place here, look, right on the end. So now we're down to the beach, look. That was that quick. Boat trips, yes. The one out to the island is good. The one to Tabarka Island was very good as well because you go to Tabarka and you go to Alicante as well. I've just checked to see if there's any lins. The only lins out at the moment are mine. The only lins I can see are mine, so. Oh, there you go. And you can go out around there as well. Look at that, look. So now we're at sea level already, look. Just like that. We were just up there just now. They're doing something here. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, this is a beautiful beach as well. This is probably the best beach of the lot. It's, I don't know if they're wheelchair friendly or not, to be honest. But the beach, this is Ponienti Beach. It goes all the way along here, over to the to there. Uh, no, over to there. That's where the harbour is there. So that's all... This is longer, this is 3.2 kilometres. And then 2.7 kilometres is Levante. Then you've got the little beach, the Cala. Um, sorry. Um, you've got, there's the port. And then you've got the little beach of Malpaz. And then, of course, around the corner, you've got two more beaches. You've got the nudist beach around the corner. Um, just, there's the point there, so... The nudist beach is just, just down the back there. And then there's another beach where you can go topless as well. But there's lifeguards there as well. There are lifeguards on every beach. It's the law. Dip your feet in the water, I'd love to. Um, maybe tomorrow. You can book the trips at the port, yes. You can go to the port and book them. Probably works out cheaper. Go on, we'll go along the pavement here for a minute. You've got quite a nice sunshade there. Look, look at that, look. Looks like a dome. Here, look. DJ Dom is in the room. That's a nice sunshade. 